During a press conference at the C40 workshop in Hong Kong last week, Mayors Michael Bloomberg of New York and David Miller of Toronto told reporters what they thought was most impressive about the Chinese mayor's commitment to building sustainability in their cities. I think the most impressive thing this morning was that they were there. Um, Ten years ago, they would not have been there. And, you know, China's still a country with uh, 150 million people that live on a dollar a day. They've got an enormous problem of bringing these people into uh, the society and uh, giving them the dignity of being able to be self-supporting and, and have a good life. And so job creation, economic development has always been uh, modern-day China's number one priority. But for the first time, there is an understanding in China that the environment is something that they cannot walk away from, they can't treat as a second-class citizen anymore. Uh, when they're starting to get your rivers polluted and your air unfit to breathe, you've got to do something about it. And here you see that they are actually doing something. So, uh, you know, it may be the beginning, but you've got to, if you want to play, get a hand of cards to play, you've got to come to the table, and they are certainly doing that. And in terms of what's the most difficult thing at the moment, sustainability, when the economy turns down, as it has throughout the world, um, it's hard to get people to focus on the economy. I would argue that that's exactly the time that you do have to do it, because, and it's a good time to do it, because if you want to uh, spend money, you can get a lot more for your money at that time. But that's clearly the biggest problem. The whole environmental movement's been slowed down by this uh, worldwide recession. Uh, I liked the mayor who uh, looked the national government representative in the eye and said, we need more money. <laughs> and the biggest challenge in uh, many cities in the world uh, on a number of issues is the fact that either regulatory jurisdiction or financial resources are in the hands of a national, state, or provincial government. And in order to get our work done, we need their cooperation, and sometimes that's impossible uh, uh, to get.